Good morning everyone, this is Jeanette. Um, this video, I am not doing any cover stitching or sewing. I want to kind of share with you how I do my patterns, how I uh, make them and how I store them. Um, as you can see, uh, I have a bunch right here in front of me. But when I get them from the shop, when they email them, I print them off. I print a master, which is you know because every pattern comes with multiple sizes and you can see that here it's they're multiple sizes and that's what I make the other one you know if I have this one goes from 6 to 12 so I, if I need one of each size I'll make it off of this one without having to print any more paper and how I did that is I bought a roll of white butcher paper off of eBay it's 24 inches wide and that's what I use to make my other patterns and I'll show you here this is a master here and this is one that is made this piece right here and this one is made with the butcher paper and then I can just um, mark on each one what I need to mark like what the neckband is and the elastic is um, that's all I need to mark on there now how I store these is after I make the pattern, I, um, I hole punch them. I kind of find the center and I hole punch them and I put them all together. And then, let me move all this. What I do is I put it on one of these inexpensive shower curtain rings. 97 cents for a dozen of them at Walmart. And each size that I make I put on they each get their own individual ring because then what I do is I take these individual rings and I put it on a master ring and I marked it with tape so I know which one it is and then what I do is I take it and I put this master ring I bought an, another inexpensive um, item at Walmart which is a I guess what you want to call an open closet or garment hanger that's what it is and that's where I store them I just put them on there and you know it hangs really nice I don't have to have worry about wrinkles or anything and then when I need a particular size because this one has like I don't know 10 sizes all I have to do is go through find the size that I need unclip it from the master and you know I have it right there with me and I don't have to worry about fumbling through and getting everything else. So that's how I make my patterns and I store them. Now, um, when you go to make your, now this is the butcher paper right here, and this is what I do for each size. I will write down the waist, you know, whatever is needed, waistband, neckband, everything. This is what I do per size, and I usually do it on the front piece of the pattern instead of the back um, because it's just easier for me to grab the front and because I'm looking at that more than I do anything else. And then I just start cutting everything I need, but this is how I do mine. Um, and here's the, the back part of this pattern too. And I try to keep the folds going the same way. This way they all fit together really nice, as you can see. And then here's, here's the top of that one, which is kind of weird. It's a crossover pattern. But I try to get everything to where, you know, it all goes one direction. So that's my, my tip for the day. Um, hopefully, you know, some of you will share... Um, how you do your patterns that would be nice to know maybe uh, there's somebody out there that has a better method um, but I find this one works for me but hey if you got a different one let me know because I'm always open to suggestions so with that everybody have a good day and happy sewing